Hello, people. I am over the moon to show you the English book that I've been telling you since last week. This is a very wonderful book for you to read. You should read this book wherever you are and whenever. I am over the moon to show you the book. Ndishinya chanerero kubereka ijitabo. This book is not very expensive. Nabu ijitabo jihenze chani. Ariko nanone na mafaranga mubjukuri wavugango ni menshi ngo ntubure kugura igitabo oya kuko amafaranga ni igitabo ntaho bihuriye first of all you should buy the knowledge ubu nubwenge ubu nubumenyi these these are skills ubu nubumenyi buri hano bwigendera rero nutakigura i don't know where you are going which direction you, ha you are having in english language sinane rero direction cyangwa direction ikerekezo uri kwerekeza you should try your best to buy the book the book is available there at Chimirong. Eh, ugeze Chimirong hafi na gare, urampamagara ati cyaje kureba igitabo. Ndahita nza niruka rwose ntigura. Cyangwa suransanga aho dukorera naho twigishiriza. Nanone irindi tangazo rihari uretse n'iki gitabo. Ku itariki byirizo kwa gatano. Ejo bundi turatangira ishuri. Eh, if you want to come to study in the class we are here to host you very well. Turaha kugira ngo tugu hosting to to kwerekere uko ugomba kwiga icyongereza neza. If you are a beginner, intermediate or an advanced student, don't worry. Teacher Jasper is there to help you learn English very well or to help you develop your level in English. Wa buri beginner, umutangizi, intermediate, uri hagati cyangwa se advanced uri hejura ari kushaka gukomeza gushepinga gukarisha icyongereza cyawe we are here to serve you turahari kugira ngo tuguserving tuguhe service nziza cyane tukwigisha icyongereza neza cyane english kiswahili and french icyongereza igiswahili ni gifaransa ariko kugeza ubu ngubu abanyeshuri ushobora gutangirana nabo bamaze no kwiyandikisha nabi icyongereza then try to come please and learn English in a very good way. We get you Reza, Mugurjo, Giza Chan. Chimiromo, half in a gar, Kijara Purigare, Mamagara, Nimero Zirahonga, Mujukuri Wigenes. Good. Today, we are going to teach you how to use uh, different ways to stop someone when you don't understand what they are saying. Rubango, to Giacuri, Shurjo, Utandu Kanye, Wahagari Kaban, Mujutari Kumbaneza, Ijobari Kuvug. Then, Never, never use, can you repeat please, all the time. Never use the, this uh, phrase all the time. Nunga koreshe i phrase chane, chane, ida menyerewe. Kufuga ngo, can you repeat please, ni chinu kimenyerewe chane. Rero mkujira ngo, umuna menye kuzururimi, ugusha wala kukoreshe different vocabularies to mean the same thing or one thing. Kujira ngo, menye ururimi, nukubu zi vocabularies zitandu kanye wakoresha, mujojegu wagari kumunu, changwa, Good. Never use can you repeat please all the time. Nuga koreshe yinuze chani buriji. Always. Don't use the don't use it all the time. Or always. You can also use sorry. Yeah. Akaka sorry na konikeza. For example, munakabugibinu ah. Tabjumu get mugira. Please, sorry, please, sorry, please. This is good. Yeah? Sorry, please. I didn't hear that. Nuvanguyamuneka. Yeah? Sinabumvis. Then you use sorry. Instead of using, can you repeat please? It's, it's better to say sorry please. I didn't hear that. The second way is pardon. Pardon please. Mumbaba rile sinumvis. Umuna ukumbari kufugi binu jinshi. Wenda nicho njereza chinshi. Ugetumugira pardon please. Aitayumba yu kwa gomba gusubiramu. Next is this one. I don't understand. Could you say that again? Very nice. 
For example, kumbu munari kubugi bintu getu bugi oh, I don't understand. Could you say that again? Ese wa wasubira buyo byo bwibyo, I don't understand. Could you say that again? Nice. Then number four is this one. What did you say? Eh, ushobora kumva umuntu avuze ibintu ariko ntiwumve neza ugatumubwira uti, what did you say? Can you repeat please na irakoreshwa? Rwose nta kibazo ifite. Ahubwo icyo nshaka kukubwira nuko hari uburyo bwinshi wakoresha aho guhora ukoresha can you repeat please? Yes. Then here you can say what did you say uvuze ngo iki? Waruvuze ngo iki? What did you say? It sounds good. This sounds good for sure. It sounds good. What did you say? Number five, which is here, you can say, sorry, I didn't catch that. Yes. Hmm. Kuburiju munu njine yumba ko uri gukore shutunu dutandu kanyi. Mubuzi mabuzi. Sounds good. Try to use these kinds of phrases. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Yumba ngo, ije sina sina simbi fashionese. Eh? Wabi subira moko na vyu mviseneza. Na habgo bijeneze. I didn't catch that. Huh? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Or here, number six, you can say, I am a, a bit lost. To be a bit lost. My dear friend, I am a bit lost. Can you repeat, please? I am a bit lost. Ndataka ya mkono, harukono, harahujeze ndataka. For example, someone is telling you the story. Then, he reaches somewhere where you don't understand. Where you don't understand some of the vocabularies or some sentences in English language. Then that time you can say, you can stop him by saying, Oh, sorry my dear friend, I am a bit lost. Hey, muju munari kukugira nihuru, pikagu changa kabara magambo. Utumvi seneza. Ite nukwari kuyavu gachangwa wendu tayu mbanezi. I am a bit lost, Mrs. Sorry, I am a bit lost. Nice. Then number seven, you can say, I beg your pardon, please. I don't get you. Akuna kanu keza na none wabigirumunu. My dear friend, oh, I beg your pardon, please. Mbaba riranyamunek. I don't get you. Nabgo mumbis. Oh, I don't get you well. Si mumbis enez. Eh, ugunubur yoga. Can you repeat, please? Harikuno luga koreshu to alternatives. Utandukani. Then number eight, you can say, What was that, please? Eh, jo arubu zeni vihe. Kumera ko harukuno arura angani. Eh, please. What was that? Or, what was that, please? Number eight. What was that, please? Akutunu tunutu ngenju gomba kuyikako. Yes. What was that, please? Eh, jo arubu zeni vihe. That we ran chance we inchi yeho. Narukunyaru narinda angai. What was that, please? Kujirango agusubiri ya mujo ya ravuz. Nice. Then number nine, here you can say, excuse me. Akoko njine. Araita yumba yuko. Ashora agusubiri ya mu. Chimgenu kwa vuguti, excuse me. Can you repeat that, please? Or, excuse me. What was that, please? Or, excuse me. I don't get you very well. I don't get you very well. Wariku watanjije, excuse me. Aka kajamba, excuse me, ni, 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 aka, ni chuba hiro kwa u, habari mchi nya ufurukuni. Excuse me. Mumba barile, nyamu neka, ha? Excuse me. Nice. Then, excuse me, I can't hear you well. For example, you are on the telephone, urikuri telephone, someone is calling you. No, no, ho, umunharagua magaye, shorugu itu vuguti. Oh, excuse me, please, I can't hear you well. Maybe the voice are cracking, your voice, the voice of my phone is cracking. When the voice is cracking, or when voices are cracking, ni mujihe amajwi arimungi ni vitariku mvika na vitu anumu ya gachangwichi. The voices are cracking, or your voice is cracking. Ishbiri jawe, rilimori ra, dira, nhaburi kuzanez. Nice. Then here you can say, oh, excuse me, I can't hear you. Your voice is cracking. Voice yawe nhaburi kuzanez. Nice. Then you should try to grasp or to memorize all these words or phrases, they are going to help you uplift your English language. I am a gamba jokugu fasha kuzamura icho njereza chao. Sorry. Pardon, please. I don't understand. Could you say that again? 
What did you say? Then, sorry, I didn't catch that. It's better to say I didn't. I, 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 I normally used to, to, to pronounce the word hear, just like I didn't. Instead of saying I didn't, instead of saying I didn't, I didn't, it's, it sounds somehow awkward. It's not good. I didn't, I didn't catch you. I didn't go there. I didn't tell you the truth. I didn't want that person to come inside. Then here, it's better to say I didn't. Then I am a bit lost. I beg your pardon, please. I don't get you well. Try to use it. What was that, please? Use it. Then excuse me. Use it. Then excuse me. I can't hear you well. Or I can't hear you very well. Nice. Then this is the right time for us to get the last part of our lesson. Uwo gufata mu mutwe cya gice cyacu cyanyuma kisomo aho tubaha imvugo y'icyongereza The saying of today is come rain or shine Come rain or shine What does it mean Bishatse kuvuga iki Come rain or shine Hano ni kwa kunyimo kinyarwanda tuvuga tuti byanga byakunda ndabikwa mu giswahire arabavuga ngo kama mbaya mbaya ushaka kuvuga kuti i will go there come rain or shine nzajayo byanze bikunze uko byagenda kose ngomba kwitabira ari amarushanwa come rain or shine apart from different people who are trying to abuse me or to tell me not to go there who are trying to discourage me abantu bari kugerageza kunchia intege apart from them ubaretse cyangwa se mbaretse bo ngabo bari kunchia intege ntabitayeho come rain or shine i will participate in that competition nzitabira ari amarushanwa come rain or shine for example you can say i am going to study english come rain or shine ngiye kwiga icyongereza kama mbaya mbaya niko akundi mu giswahili tuvuga kama mbaya mbaya bya kwanga bya kwemera byagenze gute which means when you say come rain or shine imvura yagwa cyangwa umucyo waza ibi ndabikwa come rain or shine for example i can say now i'm going to beat him come rain or shine ngiye kumukubita kama mbaya mbaya ibindi nzabyicuza nyuma cyangwa se ibindi urundi nzarurwana nyuma cyangwa se urubanza nzaba ndwinjira mo nyuma i'm going to beat him come rain or shine or i'm taking my child to that expensive school come rain or shine ngiye gufata umwana wanje mujyane kuri ya shuri rihenze kama mbaya mbaya byanze bikunze uko byagenda kose ngiye kubikora come rain or shine koresha iyi mvugo y'icyongereza uzamura icyongereza cyawe I am Teacher Jasper. We are together for the next time. Bye-bye.